Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's session. Uh, we'll begin today with an overview of segmentation. We will define segmentation, introduce Prism Premier, take a deep dive into a segment, and discuss life stage groups, uh, which form the backbone of the Ad Sales Insights, which we're going to be discussing in part two of the training. So what is segmentation? Uh, segmentation as a method for taking all the households in the United States and grouping them into a similar clusters based on similar demographics and behaviors. The goal here is to come up with a method for organizing these households in a way that is actionable and simple to understand. Prism Premier is our flagship segmentation system. It operates on a high level using the adage that birds of a feather flock together. In our case, we use a model to determine how a household gets matched to their appropriate Prism Premier segment. We have seven core drivers that feed into this model. If you look over on the right-hand side of the screen, our first driver is household income. Then we have age, technology use, presence of a child in a household, home ownership, urbanicity, and IPA. I'd like to elaborate a little bit further on IPA and technology use, as these are two of our newer drivers in the system. IPA stands for Income Producing Assets. A quick example to help explain the difference between IPA and household income, for example, let's say you and I have the same salary of $500,000 a year. You're welcome for the raise. However, you have invested your money, you have a 401k, and a robust savings plan. On the other hand, I am a heavy spender and living paycheck to paycheck. Clearly, I live a very extravagant lifestyle. Well, we have the same household income, our actual economic position would be dramatically different. IPA is the driver that paints a clear picture of the economic standing that a household would have beyond just what is coming in. And technology use is basically the measure of how households are adopting new technology. Are they households that are going out and waiting in line for the newest iPhone when it comes out or households that maybe still use a landline, for example, and have not adopted a smartphone? I'm sure we all know people on both sides of that spectrum. In all, there are 68 individual Prism Premier segments. Diving a little bit more into this, I'd like to paint a clear picture of what a single segment would look like. We're going to take a look here at Prism Premier segment number two, Network Neighbors. Here's a quick overview of who they are, but what we're really going to do here is transition into a short two-minute video uh, to give you a break from my voice so you guys can see a little bit more um, about what this segment really is. Meet Network Neighbors, Prism Premier Segment Number 2. Monica and Jeff, our Network Neighbors, are a suburban wealthy middle-aged couple with three kids. Michael, age 17, Julia, age 14, and Sarah, age 12. They are well-educated and financially savvy. Jeff graduated with a master's from Yale and Monica with a BA from Brown. Jeff is an executive at a software security firm and Monica is a CPA. They have been planning for a family since college and they are well positioned for college tuition and retirement with significant income producing assets. They own a five bedroom home in Arlington, Virginia and have two dogs, Baxter and Yoda. This family leads very busy lives with kids' sporting events, music, and theater filling up much of their free time. They travel two to three times a year, usually on United, to visit family and friends and are trying to make their way around Europe before the kids graduate. They frequently eat out, but they try to make healthy choices at places like Chipotle. Jeff drives an Acura and Monica has a Lexus crossover. Technology plays a big part in their lives, and their home is a showcase for all that is new in tech advances, like the Amazon Echo. Jeff is always buying the newest gadget and upgrading technology, especially if it makes their lives easier or more efficient. All three kids have iPhones, the newest gaming systems and laptops, and they enjoy streaming movies on the weekends on their home theater system. Segmentation allows you to understand your customers, find your best prospects, and activate effective online and offline campaigns. To learn more about the segments that make up Prism Premier, visit www.mybestsegments.com to meet some of our new segments. So now that you have a better understanding of what an individual segment looks like, we're going to look at the life stage groups. 
Life stage groups are built off the 68 segments and roll up into 11 different groups. They are organized top to bottom based on socioeconomic rank, which takes into account characteristics such as income, education, occupation, and home value. They're organized across based on their age, presence of children in the household. These three core groupings are younger years, which are mostly under 45 or singles or couples primarily without kids, family life, which are households with kids 35 to 54, and finally mature years, which are generally households 55 plus that are most likely empty nesters or mature singles. Throughout part two of our training, we're going to be speaking a bit more about uh, these customer groups using life stages as they offer a simple and efficient way of defining different customer targets. That concludes our segmentation overview. Prism Premier is the foundation upon which we've built the ad sales analysis that you will see in part two of the training. Overall, it provides a clear, insightful, and efficient way to communicate with your clients. Thank you for watching and listening in.